Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Holcomb from the PLD School Library, and today I want to share with you my caterpillars. So I raise caterpillars each summer. I raise monarch caterpillars and black swallowtail, and I do that because butterflies are so important to our environment, um, but their caterpillars are easily eaten or killed by predators, and which means if we don't have the caterpillars, we don't have butterflies. They're not going to grow up to become butterflies. So I like to raise them by raising them indoors and that helps protect them if I keep them inside. So I want to show you um, how I find them is basically I just grow their host plant. So a host plant is the plant that a butterfly will lay its eggs on. So there's nectar plants which are the ones that butterflies go to to actually get nectar to get nourishment to get something to drink um, and then there's also the host plant which is where they go to lay their eggs. So the host plant and the nectar plant the reason they have to be different is because the caterpillar can't necessarily eat the nectar plant. They eat something different. So a butterfly has to lay its eggs on the correct host plant so that its caterpillars can eat that. So I grow parsley and I grow milkweed. Um, and parsley is for my black swallowtails and milkweed is for my monarchs. And here we can see on my parsley, it's really, really tiny. I'm trying to get it so that you can see. Okay is a tiny little yellow dot. So it's really, really so tiny. You can just barely see it right there. That is a butterfly egg. So that egg was laid by a butterfly and it is going to become a black swallowtail caterpillar. So the egg is obviously very tiny. So the caterpillar that comes out of it is really, really tiny as well. But then it goes through what's called instars. Instars are when it gets bigger and bigger. So here is one here, and it's not that big yet. Um, it's still fairly small, but big enough that you can see it definitely on the parsley. And I have another one right over here as well. So I have two caterpillars here right now. Um, but like I said, they're gonna get bigger and bigger as they go through their instars. And let me show you what their instars look like for a black swallowtail. So we have their first, which is that black color they are now. And then a second instar, they get even larger, but they're still kind of that same color. Um, and then the third instar, they become this color of like green with yellow dots. Sometimes they're black with the yellow dots. Those are a little bit rarer, but usually they're kind of a greenish yellow color. Um, and you can see in the picture here, this is one that shed its skin back there. So that's its skin back behind there. Um, and they shed their skin several times when they're in this instar. So then they go through a fourth and a fifth as they get larger and larger before they make their chrysalis to become a butterfly. And these are what they look like when they emerge. This is a male and this is a female. And we'll see more of that as they actually get larger. I'll show them to you again. Um, so their overall life cycle looks like this. This is the life cycle of of a black swallowtail. So my other ones I have are monarch butterflies. Those are orange and black butterflies you may see around. And um, they look like this. So a monarch butterfly, um, their, their um, caterpillars can only eat milkweed. It's the only food they can have. And that's very important. If you find a caterpillar and you wanna to try to raise it indoors, you need to know its host plant because that's the only food it can eat. So in this case, I was able to find itty bitty tiny little caterpillar. You see it's so so tiny right there and it's munching along. It's left these little holes in the leaf where it's been eating. It also in the container I have here leaves behind these little tiny little green dots. We call that frass which is basically a fancy word for caterpillar poop. Um, so I also have on some milkweed I found I have a little egg here too, so I'm gonna have another caterpillar soon. And just like the black swallowtails, they go through different instars, and that's how they grow and they change as they get bigger. So they molt um, and they lose their, they lose their, um, shed their skin as they get larger and larger. They pretty much look the same throughout, though they don't change color quite as dramatically as the black swallowtails. But it's a really, really neat to watch. And these are, these are really, really um, pretty caterpillars and 
beautiful butterflies as well. So I'll definitely show them to you again as they get larger and we get to see um, the caterpillars as they get bigger um, and learn more about them. And I'll show you the chrysalis and show you a cocoon to show you the difference because butterflies don't make a cocoon. So we'll look and see what the difference is between a chrysalis and a cocoon. Um, and then I will show them to you again when they become butterflies. So keep watching.